Today I will talk about the green code or the code that is known as the international code for the safe carriage of green in bulk. Uh, this code has been developed by the International Maritime Organization for ships that intend to carry green, especially in bulk condition. So the international code for the safe carriage of green in bulk has been made mandatory under the SOLAS convention or the safety of life at sea convention uh, since 1994. The term green covers uh, cargoes of wheat, maize, corn, oats, rye, barley, rice, pulses, seeds and processed forms of the same cargo whose behavior is similar to that of the grain in its natural state. The code applies to ships regardless of size including those of less than 500 gross tonnage engaged in the carriage of grain in bulk and to which part C of SOLAS chapter 6 applies. The purpose of the code is to provide an international standard for the safe carriage of grain in bulk. The code requires a document of authorization to be issued for every ship loaded in accordance with the code. The document of authorization serves as evidence that the ship is capable of complying with the requirements of the code and it must be accompanied or incorporated into the grain loading manual which contains information that enables the master of the ship to meet the stability requirements as required by the code. A copy of the document of compliance together with the grain loading stability data and associated plans shall be carried on board in order that the master, if so required, shall produce them for the inspection of the contracting government of the country of the port of loading. The layout of the code is as follows. There is a part A of the code which, come, which contains the chapters of applications, definitions, document of authorization, equivalence, exemption for certain voyages, information regarding ship stability and grain loading, uh, stability requirements, stability requirements for existing ships and optional stability requirements for ships without document of authorization carrying partial cargoes of bulk grain. Now I will cover most of these but in separate videos. So please make sure that you are watching all the videos I am making in the topic of grain loading because you need to watch all the videos to have a very good understanding of the requirements or the expectations uh, for ships that carry such cargo. All right, I could not cover all the topics in one video otherwise it will become very long and boring for you guys. Part A of the code also complies, uh, rather also comprises of uh, information on storage of bulk grain, strength of the grain fittings, uh, divisions loaded on both sides and divisions loaded only on one side, uh, saucering requirements, bundling of bulk grain, overstowing arrangements, strapping or lashing and securing with varnish. Part B of the code focuses on calculation of assumed healing moments and general assumptions. I will cover these as well in separate videos uh, and I'll give you the links to those videos as well. Uh, section 1 of part B talks about general assumptions. Section 2 focuses on assumed volumetric healing moment of a filled compartment when it is trimmed. Section 3 discusses assumed volumetric healing moment of a filled compartment when it is untrimmed. Section 4 of Part B is, uh, talks about assumed volumetric healing moments in trunks. Uh, section 5 is about assumed volumetric healing moment of a partially filled compartment. And Section 6 talks about other assumptions. Uh, some of the general properties of the grain cargo when loading is that grain settles by 2% of its volume and void spaces created provide scope for shift of this cargo. Now, if cargo ships, this may result in the listing of the ship at sea in a seaway. I have covered uh, the actions to be taken if green cargo ships at sea in a separate video. So make sure you watch that as well. Uh, the aim of the loading as per the green code is to minimize the healing moments and to keep them within acceptable limits. Uh, when planning for the cargo, make sure that you refer to the code for the safe carriage of green in bulk. That is the green code the document of authorization as issued by the flag state, the approved loading manual and the stability booklet and the loading manual. And data on healing moments should be available, both tabulated and in graphical form. This may be obtained from the ship's load indicator once you fill in the cargo details. If the ship is to take a full load or partial cargo, the different grades of the cargo or if the 
homogeneous cargo then all the details should be provided as well now all these above will influence the layout of the store so make sure that you check the storage factor of the grain as well if maximum cargo is to be loaded make sure you calculate the quantity with respect to the ship's dead weight load line zones the ship's constant and draft limitations cargo distribution should aim at keeping maximum number of filled holds uh, considering draft trim and stresses on the hull for cargo weight in each hold multiply it by the storage factor to get the depth or the volume of cargo in each hold make sure that you refer to the volumetric hilling moment diagram or vhm diagram i'll talk about all this in my separate videos for that hold and because all holds may have different diagrams due to different structures multiply the vhm by the appropriate compensation factor to get the corrected vhm now compensation is for the vertical shift from the center of gravity due to an assumed shift of green uh, once you get the corrected vhm you divide the corrected gm by the storage factor to get the corrected weight healing moment for each hold add all the weight healing moments to get the total weight healing moment for the vessel compare the total weight healing moment with the allowable values given in the loading criteria and the stability criteria if within the limits proceed to further calculations otherwise you must replan the store so i have generally covered this but i'll show you in um, separately as well the procedure for calculating the volumetric healing moment and the formulas for that uh, so make sure that you follow my channel and keep watching the videos keep a track of the videos i'll give you the link to those videos as well uh, but uh, make sure that you follow my videos uh, also make sure uh, the volumetric healing moment and the allowable healing moment are based on an assumed angle of shift and the actual experience may be different from what you actually uh, calculate for so the rest of the uh, uh, sentences are showing the calculation formula and uh, how the tan theta which is the theta is the list here uh, is calculated by dividing gg1 by gm where gg1 is the movement or the shift of cargo calculated by multiplying the weight of cargo shifted by the distance it shifts divided by displacement multiplied by gm so this will give you the weight healing moment and if you divide it by displacement multiplied by gm uh, you can get the list uh, assumed list if the cargo shifts in different scenarios now remember that increase in the kg will result in the reduction of the gm which basically dictates the stability criteria for grain you have to load with certain stability criteria you have to sail out with certain uh, gm and i'll talk about all that as well in a separate video now given that the list is same and this results in an increased weight healing moment so we'll talk about all that later on but today's video was only about the grain code and what it contains and how you can use those content for the loading of the grain cargo